Hey, I'm Jazz. I'm Brett. And YCWA, yo, let's talk about how to get away with murder. And this is episode five. five. What was the title of this episode? It was It's About Frank. Yeah. And let me tell you. This and episode was you. all about Frank. It was Frank. all about Frank. I Everything love this about episode. Frank. I love this episode so much. It was all about Frank. Whatever. Status report. Turn up. This was ultimate turn up. I felt this episode was the best episode thus far. I loved it, loved it, loved it. It was, the emotion was yes. heavy. It yes. was, the acting was superb. It was just great. It's a lot of good acting. Yeah, uh, wonderful. Right. This episode was really, really, really good. Period. I don't think they're going to come better for the rest of the season, honestly. I, I can't imagine how they could. This was crazy. Um, they tapped so much into Frank. Mm -hmm. And then in Frank and Bonnie, they love each yeah. other, y'all. Obviously, oh, that was like, wait, does he love her? It was so beautiful. He said, maybe we can run away with me. But, but you did, see did how you vulnerable ask he is? This girl to run away with you? But you see how vulnerable he is with Bonnie when yeah. he was standing there waiting for at the car. Oh! And she came and gave him the. It was beautiful. Everything was just beautiful about until he left her high and dry. We'll talk about he that later. He opened her up and let her, uh, you know, make herself vulnerable, listen, and this, then he did. Whatever. This ain't nothing. Listen. Anyway, let's continue Frank on. Said, Who was turn up worthy for this episode? I want to give it to Wes yeah. um, for taking care of Annalise. Anytime somebody wipes somebody else's throw up, you're turn up worthy. <laughs> okay. Y'all know about that from your college days, <laughs> some high school days. <laughs> Dang on shame. Dang on shame. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I thought that's that was just awesome. That and when he said to her, you know, you take care of me and I wanna mm -hmm. take care of you, I was like, Oh my gosh, it was just touching. Um, was anyone else turned up? Michaela was turning up. Yeah, she Literally. she she Kayla was like, Yo, back up, son. Yeah, I'll give it no, to she her. She said, Hey man, hey man, I said you better back the fuck up, bro. Yeah. For real though. Yeah, because when they were talking about her southern accent, I didn't really hear too it much of it. Much. I didn't hear that. She I was, just was screaming at him. Yeah, and I was like But I guess it depends on where you're from in the South. I don't know. I didn't hear an accent. But um yeah, when she did that, I was like, Go ahead, Michaela, and come to find out what she did. You know, help them find out about Michaela has not been here for the for the Fuckery. No, she hasn't. She wasn't here with it with the pervert, and she's like, "No, I'm not. Listen, we're not about to. We on, on top of everything, we're not about to sit here and deal and with tolerate this, this nonsense." <laughs> but I think that later we're gonna find out why Michaela's on short fuse. I guess it's because her family, her, her parents, is uh, right. you know whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, she when she turned up on homie, come to find out, she did take the damn computer, and yeah. it was like, mm, well, she said, "Walk away." Yeah, oh. boy. Okay, do it. But then you know it's good though because because Oliver was searching his computer found out in he was the monkey shot. ass who was doing found this Annalise face in his photo shop right. like, <laughs> nobody got time for that you know what I'm saying so that was pretty dope turned up was also the fact that Annalise Step took that computer like, walked up to him and was like you got a choice yeah right? everybody got choices do? for real like it was ridiculous yeah, and, and it's so crazy though the way he was coming for, but all that chit chatter he was doing, talking about Annalise. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this Why'd guy? Why'd you take this class then, Sanjay? Punk ass. It was so ridiculous. Bossed up I moment. think his name is Sanjay, though. I'm not being, you know. <laughs> A racist? Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> um, bossed up moment for me. I thought it was so dope how Bonnie was walking out of the funeral home. And she sees Frank. And she just strides over to him and hugs him. That hugs the crap out of it. And was like, thank you. You know? Because she knew, like, that was out of love and respect yeah. that he took care of that. Yeah. Ain't nothing like a man that's going to take care of that for you, y'all. You know? <laughs> I don't think they know. <laughs> for real. Like, <laughs> somebody effing with you and you got to call somebody? Yeah, you know I mean? Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? It be like that sometimes. But that was really dope. I was like, wow. You know, I thought that was a really bossed up moment. Was there any other moment that we was... I, that that really stuck out for me. I really, truly just loved it. And, um, best... Uh, oh, what was a good look? Uh, what was a good look? Hmm. I forgot. Oh, Annalise getting her, um... Oh, she, her going her to situation back and stuff. And getting her job, you know, yeah. she was... She said, make those calls, honey. 
And then the lady was like, listen, you need a support group. I'll be your sponsor. <laughs> no, no, yeah, when Annalise drink, saw her in there, though. Yeah, Annalise was like, because you know she was like, wow, y'all plotting on me like this, so you following me? Yeah, because that's, that's what, what I was thinking, the setup. I was like, they setting her up. But Shorty was all, she's thinking, we could be friends. Like, uh, no. get out of here. Like, what's going on? You be an alcoholic over there, and I'll be an alcoholic over here. The good thing about <laughs> that, though, that I felt good about was like, okay, maybe she's not like a monster. The president? Yeah, and maybe and she actually isn't coming for Annalise. It's everyone else coming for her. And she's just doing her job. Maybe, but anyone who sits on the fence is like, so what? That is true, too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's the good look. Annalise getting her situation back together with her license and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Best scene, monologue, and dialogue. I The two scenes, that the two interactions the two that scenes. stand out, of course, is Wes and, and Annalise. Annalise, yeah. And Bonnie, Bonnie and Frank. Frank. Those, oh my goodness. First of all, Wes and Annalise. Let's first talk about that. That was, Annalise, man, I just felt so bad for her. Yeah. So yeah. You know all of those flashbacks? Yeah, I was, my eyes kept welling up in tears because I was like, God damn. Jeez. Damn. And Sam, when, well, the one where she miscarried in the bathroom and Sam is just like, oh, I'll call the doctor. Because this is, this is the regular. norm. It's the norm. And that damn. was so. And it's like. Frank, you really, really, Fucked you picked the perfect time to F up. The perfect time. Because they were this close. That and baby would have been born. It was just too much for me. and But also seeing her laying there and trying to not think about it, not mm -hmm. dwell on it. Because she was moving. She she got rid of the alcohol, y'all. She was trying. You know, and then, Honestly, but, she needed a bigger garbage can. But all thoughts, all them thoughts, you know, <laughs> That, I mean, and, and yeah, I was just talking to Brittany about that, you know, because if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you know that I do a lot of, you know, motivational speaking and stuff like that. But I keep it one million. I don't, you know, a lot of people push this whole Zen thing, like always Zen. And I do yoga and stuff, and they be pushing, you know, also, and they push this whole, you know, when people push you, you just can't even block it. You can't let that bother you. Listen, we're human, we're not androids. So when someone pisses us off, it's going to bother us. When someone does something wrong, it's going to bother us. When tragedy strikes in life, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's going to bother you. Should you let it consume you? No. But we do have to take our moment to deal. Yeah. And you might have to wallow in it for a little bit, cry, punch something maybe. Don't become self-destructive. But I think tapping into the true pain of it, or or even if it's not tapping into the pain, if you're just sitting there like, I'm damn mad for yeah. a minute, you know, that is a healthy thing to me. Then we go to the, all right, we got to work on not falling into this yeah. all the time because, you know, you won't live. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, uh, I, I, watching Annalise go I through that. I think it was good that um we saw a little pockets of her missing Sam. Because yeah, we don't really get that, and they, the um, Key and Five, they don't even that doesn't even occur to them. Like, oh, maybe she might miss her husband. Like, yeah. she didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. even though he cheated killed on this, her, cheated on her, and killed this girl, That's if he didn't die and she found out that he killed this girl, she would have defended his ass in court. Yep. Yeah. Make no mistake about it. Or oh, she would have found a, a lawyer to do it for him. Mm -hmm. And then she would have been telling that lawyer what to do. You know what I mean? Like, there wouldn't have been no, oh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. She would have protected him. Yeah. Just like they protected Frank. Just like they protected Bonnie. So why would Sam not be under the same protection? Yes, she would have been upset with him, pissed off, all of that. But, I, I mean, that's her husband. And they're not even, you know... That's why it was interesting when because Oliver said when Sam out of their mind. When Oliver said, "Poor Annalise," you saw Connor's face. Like all of them, it's like that. You know what I mean? They don't even think. Like if you look, it's just so ridiculous. But I thought the scene with um, Wes was beautiful. You know, I was like, I just wish I was like Wes, put that damn washcloth onto her face and get that from underneath her nose. Clean her face, but it was. But you know, he was. I thought that it was good that he was clumsy about it because it showed. The awkwardness of it. This mm -hmm. is his teacher. She's a mother figure. His teacher yeah. at the same time. Very respected by all of them. 
But at this, and he's seeing her at a very vulnerable moment. Mm -hmm. Not just vulnerable. She's sloppy. She's a mess. She's a she's mess. She's a sloppy copy. And she said a word. And she said, get away from me. I'm, what, I'm a mess. Look at Something me. Something like that. Yeah. And, you know, and it was really just sad when she started crying. Ah, my eyes watered up. Because she was like, you know, get away from me. You hate, When she said, you hate me. Yeah. You because you see that. It's not that. Like, she's hurt. She was hurt by that. He, he, he looked her in her face and shot her. Over some chick named Rebecca. <laughs> they come to find out Rebecca ain't doing nothing. But yeah. still, like, yo, you gonna shoot Annalise when she protected you? I. Right. But it's just crazy. Like that, that scene was... And then when she was talking about, you know, is Meggie good to you? Yeah. You know, and, and I thought it was really nice to see that she really... Her, her, her dynamic with him is like he's her son. Yeah, it is. I'm so happy that that's what it is, you know. And not that she's like remember a cougar and she's years ago. I mean, you know, this yeah. other seasons we weren't I, sure. I, we but when that... I heard it, I'm like, uh, was she was she just speaking out of her drunk mind, or was she trying to, you know, set him in a position where he now believes that he needs to break up with his girlfriend? Because like clockwork, now he's like, I gotta break up with my girlfriend. I mean, but he did need to break up with her. Yeah. Yeah. Connor was absolutely right. They're not supposed to be with regular civilian civil people. Like, what the hell are y'all talking about? If you're gonna fraternize, fraternize amongst each other, and that's that with that. Yeah. Everybody has somebody. Well, Oliver messed everything up for Connor. Yeah. You know, it's just, but Oliver, he doesn't even know everything, mm -hmm. but you know, he knows enough. But um, I thought that was just, it was so, uh, it was emotionally tearing me up watching that scene. And when she, but when she went back in the garbage can and got the bottle, I was like, damn, damn. Annalise, damn. But of course that was going to happen. You know, that's why it was funny when my husband. But you can't trust nobody throwing out liquor, putting a whole bottle in the garbage can. Corey yeah, down the yeah, sink. Yeah, Corey what down are you the talking sink. about? Because like, she's not really ready. Yeah. Like that's why when my husband passed, I did not drink. I made it my business to make sure I said, uh-uh. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was needed, but I didn't because I did not need to do that, you know? I'm pretty much, I'm a very, I'm very uh, controlling in regards to, I'm very big on self-control and not being a, a mess out here in these streets. So I know I wouldn't be an alcoholic, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we have a history of alcoholism in our family. So when you know you have a predisposition to something, you should, you know, be very aware of what's going on. I mean, and I used to tell everybody when we were younger, all of my cousins mm -hmm. and my, my siblings, you like, know look, we had the previous yes, and strong had Native American yeah. ties. My grandma, wow, with the racism, but it's a fact. <laughs> These are this is what it is. Our grandmother's um Cherokee and um French Creole, and all of her siblings, her, her mother was full Cherokee. All of her siblings, except for one, were alcoholics. So, you know, these all, you know, and, and I think that not, that doesn't mean, oh, anyone who's, everyone who's a Native American is gonna be alcoholic, but, you know, same thing with black people. There's certain things that, you know, we gotta be very mindful, be, be uh, wise with things. And I just always told everyone, be careful, because if you talking about eight siblings, eight, <laughs> all were alcoholics, their mother was an alcoholic. Yep, yeah, that's what's generational. Up, what's up? That's somebody's tweeting. They got a hush. That's Lord underscore Zed. I love it. He always shares our stuff. I forget what his name is on YouTube. Keeper. Keeper. Keeper yeah. Hayes. What yeah, up? Hayes. Yeah. What up? Yeah. 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 He always be sharing <laughs> our stuff. He's always bad supportive. Like immediately, as soon as I put, he be like retweet, retweet, retweet. Thanks for the support. Appreciate that. But um. Yeah, like, you know, it's important to, to not mm -hmm. fall into substances when you deal with a, um, a trauma, trauma and a tragedy, tragedy like that. Like, I know Britney, she ain't about to be, you know, no alcoholic and all messed up like that. Um, something more medicinal would make more sense. You know. <laughs> I didn't even do that. I was just... I had a lot. That was the look on my face. 24-7. When my husband passed, I was like... Okay. Hmm. All right. So this is what it is, you know. So, but the thing is, um, it would have been easy to pick up bottles and just be like doing it because we stayed yeah. with liquor in the pantry. You know what I mean? But you got. 
Jesus, people. So, I mean, message to everyone out there. When you're dealing with a trauma, don't fall to the liquor. Don't go to the liquor. And if you have a problem, go talk to somebody. Send me a message. Yeah. Send me an email. I'll send you an email back. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people just need to talk to somebody. And it's really, yeah. it's that, just that, and that's real shit. I'm being real. But, um, mm -hmm. oh, you need some advice. You know? Hit me up. I'll do a video for you. Mm -hmm. But, um, because you know Jazz has the answers. Nah, go. but <laughs> she do though, y'all. But, <laughs> nah, but it was really crazy, like, looking at that. And it was just, like, I'm so dead ass serious. My eyes were welling up. And when... <laughs> When he had the whole, when he pulled it, I said, oh my God. Because I was like, I don't want to cry. It was too much. It was too damn too much. much. Too it was too much. damn much. Let's move on from it because I'm getting just, uh, you know. Get it together. Oh, whatever. Shake, the next shake. best, but the best other people who was rocking as far as best scene, best monologue, best dialogue was definitely Frank and Bonnie. Frank and Bonnie, Bonnie and Frank. Frank need to change his name to Clyde because they, they definitely Bonnie and Clyde out here in these yeah. streets. It was it was so, very beautiful and so pretty but it was it was emotionally not it wasn't just beautiful and pretty though it was dark and it was melancholy and emotionally yeah. draining at the same time beautiful yeah and pretty and that, and that's true romance look at that but you know i'm emo at heart guys yeah. so i love all of that i was like oh i want to be a frank <laughs> But not a Frank that's gonna walk out on you, and that's what no. pisses. That, yeah. That's what piss. That's that really pissed me but off. But the guys like that, they're always so stupid because they're selfish as fuck, and they just feel wonderful just brooding and sitting in their shit. Are you saying that that's how I am? Did you saw she looked no, at me? No, no, no. I'm she saying one of those type of guys, like. I try not to sit in mine because I will brood. I can brood, but I try not to. You know, that's why I'm always posting selfies. It, it just made me so upset. Because <laughs> it gets when me I saw, back in a good when mood. When I saw Bonnie walk into that joint and that yeah. daggone bed was made. And she cried. But Because why? Because you set this up. Bonnie was going to sleep. No, you? but he put his heart out there and she didn't say anything. Nah, no, no. When he had his nightmare, she came back. Okay, and she was like, yeah, we can go here where we can hike and do to all help this, him, all to all help this other stuff. Yeah. And then they smashed. Yes. So she gave him his confirmation. And he got scared. Because he really didn't expect the confirmation. At all. And he did. After she just said, here I am. But him and Bonnie smashed before, remember? Yeah, I know. But I'm talking about that smashing was her saying, yes, boo, let's run away together. But and she, then she no, but she him. she said it's all pretend. They wasn't really gonna run away together. And then, I mean, listen, Frank has been through a lot. Okay, and so has Bonnie. That is true. She too. ain't need that. Listen, Frank gets a pass for killing her pedophile ass father. Okay. No, he gets a pass. You for, smell that weed? Yeah, as I say, everybody is token. We outside. in the city. We at our mom's house, so Sheesh. it's coming through the window. Sheesh. <laughs> what? Um, but, um, <laughs> you said we were. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. But yeah, so those scenes were awesome. I thought they were really good. And when she did comfort him when he was having his nightmare, I was like, oh man. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Yeah, it was a. It's, <laughs> That's why I don't be accepting. When people be doing beautiful stuff, I'd be like, and then what? Yeah. And now what? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But because when we this say, is TV. but when we say, if this and was now in what? Real life, but when oh, we say, I would have a Frank would have a big problem. But when we say, and now what? And when we say, well, okay, what is this? They get an attitude, and then it's this. Mo Mofos, we wanting you to be fans, and I am no one's Too fans. Famous. Can't do it. But in, no matter how much I like you, or how cute you are, or how fabulous a Frank like you are, Frank. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Frank is a creep bombastic for leaving Bonnie high and dry. He's not creep bombastic, yes, he though. He don't get creep bombastic. Not this episode. Anyway, clutch my pearls moment or clutch our chain moment. What was you guys? When Frank left Bonnie high and dry. <laughs> 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 that that shit is unforgivable. Unforgivable. That's ridiculous. I'm trying to remember. What was my clutch my chain or clutch my pearls moment? Um, oh, when Nate was lying in the bed talking about he had family drama? That was more of a wow for me. But How I'm that trying really, to Frank? remember what the hell happened that had me go, what? When Laurel outed Bonnie? Um, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Laurel, see. But did you see how she tried to run away? She tried to leave the house and Annalise came right in after her. She was like. <laughs> like, I, I don't, 
I don't understand. Clutch My Pearls moment was when Laurel outed Bonnie but didn't tell the truth about her lie. But that's privilege. <laughs> Laurel's not white, but she grew up very privileged. You know what I'm saying? That's that privilege. She's a brat. No, she's not going to tell on herself. But, but, but Frank is, and, and Bonnie is, and that's all I know. Mm. Scout Sonner. Yeah, she was on that bullshit, and I didn't like it. I was like... She's a brat. Mm. I was like, okay, was there another Clutch My Purse moment? And you said, oh, you're so stupid. Eye candy <laughs> for me. Frank! I love me some Frank, y'all. I'm loving him, especially with the buzz cut and this vulnerable Frank. Mm, oh, I love it. I love it! Ha! <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> I think Frank is dope, y'all. He killed the pedophile. No, I do think Frank is dope. I think he's a horrible, slimy person, though, for leaving Bonnie high and dry. That's I mean, abandonment crazy. is some bullshit. Especially when you're dealing with someone and then you open up and then they pull back. It's like... And, and it's rejection also. So that's what she was no, dealing with. No, it's emotional abuse. Brittany always says it's abuse. That's what that is. Every, <laughs> I'll be telling Brittany like about a, a guy who I'm interested in or he's interested in me. And I'll be like, abusive. he did this, he did that. And then I'll be like, and then I says, I says, not understand shit. He's abusive. I'm not even sure. <laughs> it's emotional abuse, Jasper. I'm not here for it. I'm like, what? Word. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> like, I don't know, because I'm not into that. I might tell you, I, 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 I got a problem. I'll talk somebody into thinking that they got hit. Like, you remember when that nigga hit you? He did? <laughs> Shut up. Wait a minute. My chest is hurting a little bit. <laughs> Yo, Brittany. She be like, oh, he didn't call you back? That's abuse. It's abuse if he's trying to punish you by going MIA. That is emotional abuse. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do well with that sort of thing. I was like, don't what? Don't get me started. Hey. And, and I'd be like, what? That's what we playing at? But you know what, what I realized is a lot of, I mean, you know, nowadays, there's not many people adulting. Mm -mm. Nobody wants to do that, adult. You know, I'm a kid at heart big time. I mean, I think that if y'all been on our channel, y'all mm -hmm. know that. I'm a kid too. I like now or laters, um, pineapple. If you, if you live in the hood, you can get the pineapple and watermelon like that. Um, I like the purple bag of Skittles. I like Smarties. Y'all like want to send Brittany some Smarties? I love nacho cheese. It's sunflowers. not healthy. You can't have any. Whenever we come to the city, she like, okay, this I is the time for packs. me to eat trash. Yes, I need 10 packs of sunflower seeds. Oh, uh, what else is my favorite? And that's why we had to move away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Out to PA. Oh, the, 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 my dying, what is it? This, the thing that's going to put me down is donuts. Get out my damn! I get out of here! See, I'm not in my house. We in our mother's house. I'm about to say, get out my damn Donuts. House. <laughs> anyway, yes. so that um, eye candy is Frank, guys. For me, I guess Brittany's not in, in involved in this one, I but eye candy's gonna be Frank for me up until the season finale. I guess I could say eye candy was Nate's thigh. Okay. And it was serious. And so the wow moment for me was the situation with Nate. Not and you saw he looked like he was sad listening to the voicemail, but then Shorty came out. He's like, "Oh, I just got some family problems, you know." Wow. And she's like, "You know how that is." Wow. Another wow was Annalise up in the hair salon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting her weave, her sewing by Mary J. Blige. I mean, that was cute and all, but yeah. I just kind of felt like they couldn't get real hairstylists because Shorty, who was braiding, that joint braid no, looked she crazy. Was just twist, she was just flinging the hair around. And then it looked like, different the next she was time. Like, <laughs> when they changed scenes, she was like, <laughs> that's what she was doing with them braids because the next scene then it was a better looking braid but it still was looking like what the hell oh my god my hair did my I, your bun coming out but well, you dab too hard I got the same hairstylist that that lady had you dab <laughs> too hard <laughs> and then um that other lady I forgot her name chick from Hustle and Flow that got put yeah, out with her yeah. kid in the, in the and um, she was in up. like Jamie Foxx show and all those sitcoms back in the yeah day. she was in it too um, I just felt like they could have got some better hairstyles because you know I'm looking at the way Mary is hitting that needle and yeah. thread, and I was like, but I mean, for Mary to be, you know, a part of the privileged world, she still has a good, you know, recognition. She ain't come of from privilege. We know she was. I know she ain't come. What from is it called? Slow bomb um projects in Yonkers? Yonkers. Yeah. Chill with Yonkers. Well, there's some nice sides of Yonkers, but yeah, Yonkers. But anyway, um, yeah, that was and then the dude coming in the store, I was like, Lord. The dude who came, I mean, not in the store, in the salon, 
trying to sell the DVDs. Yeah, yeah. I do like how they do. They try to tap into the realness more with mm -hmm. Annalise and stuff like that. You know, it's funny because she go back to she go to the hood to get her weed. Well, done. yeah, because cool. <laughs> she wanted it to be done right. Yeah, I mean, no, but um, that was a while for me also. Um, turn down worthy. Um, see, I said clutch my pearls was Laurel, but turn down for me was Laurel. Um, also, what's his name? Oh, we gonna give him pre. Dang, the, the weed that's yes, coming in is ridiculous. <laughs> but um, <laughs> turn down for me was Laurel with that bull ish. Turn down is also Nate with yeah. that bull ish. Cause um, I mean, come on, Nate. Brittany wants to give Creep Ambassador Award to, to Frank. Frank, but yes. I think Creep Ambassador Award goes to a uh, dude who took the um, who was we Sanjay. found out who was putting up yeah, the flyers. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Okay, okay, Frank, I'll we I'll let you relax for right now. Sanjay gets it. Yeah. Um, Wes gets it for that tiny moment, only this tiny moment where he tried to be super romantic with Laurel. And he was like, yeah, I got to break up. I'm going to break up with Maggie. And, you know, Frank's not here, so. Uh... <laughs> but it's like, do you yeah. think he was coming off that way? Yes, he was. Why <laughs> else would he talk about Frank's not here? He's trying to, he was like, yo, like, be my lady. Since mm -hmm. I can't be with this regular person, I'll go to you, my second option. I'll go to my plan B. Yeah. So romantic, Wes. Let's talk about hate, 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 hate. The DA chick or whatever her name is, chick who's now smashing um Nate. Nate. She's such a hater though. Like when she came back to my all the ladies would be jealous, da da da. And then when he was talking, she took my Annalise to my yeah, she and trying he to was like, Hold on, man. He 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 hit her with that that blah. I was about to lisp. Mm -hmm. He hit that he hit her with that thoughts. The Bronx is coming out of her. He hit her oh, with God. that thought stiff arm. <laughs> okay? He said back back a little bit. Okay, and then she was like, yeah, I could, mm, if, if only my coworkers, and he was like, listen, sweetheart, you can't tell anybody, <laughs> no one, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't tell nobody. Are we not going to talk about Britney's situation that took place? No, that's fine. Um, the thing that really got me was when she started talking about, you know, she, she, she up here using, she, now she want to say she alcoholic, alcoholic please. Yeah. She and said she'll probably get like away this. with it. She got nine lives and blah, blah, blah. She, hey, 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 hey. And they like, just so said, but he just lives. got, he just got this goddamn message from her. And he know for fact she's actually an alcoholic. <laughs> yes, he does. And the thing is, if you're going to stay with me while I'm addicted to some sort of substance that you need to stay with me through all of my shit like don't be mad because i called you out of your name i'm an alcoholic that <laughs> word how you gonna like what he was supposed to do was me? sleep on the couch or go home and then the next day come back and be like annalise exactly don't call me out my name again or i'm gonna pop you in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> no he shouldn't say <laughs> it's better than emotional abuse you know don't and actually pop joking. it in the mouth but you I'm know joking. he'd be like yo don't don't you better not call me that again yeah you know i mean how are you oh, yeah. gonna hold her to calling you to saying something like that? Why are you holding me to this? I'm an alcoholic. She had the vodka. You can't hold me to anything. Exactly. It wasn't a smoothie. Exactly. But I mean, I yeah, remember point, when she threw out all the daggone greens and stuff that was in the refrigerator? Yeah, she don't want no vegetables. She had like 12 packs of spinach. I need all of those. A lot of y'all living like that. Y'all not eating your vegetables. Y'all need to follow me on Instagram. She said, Can you give me some real Jazz food? underscore NYCWAO. Follow Brit, Brit underscore NYCWAO. But real talk. Um, you know, I'll be posting on my fitness stuff and healthy stuff. Y'all need to, you know, get up on that ish. I'm about to be posting some videos um, soon Man, come on. about health and wellness really soon on here. Also, I'm going to be Nate and y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, because that's me. When they, when, they, when they gave her that smoothie in the morning, that is me in the morning drinking my smoothie. Talking about, yo, Britt, you want a smoothie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Britt don't really like bananas, so it's like. I mean, I've gotten better. She's no, gotten better I, actually, them. no. I mean, all of my smoothies have had bananas in it for the past month. Well, is, has there been any I Call Bullshit? I don't think there was any this episode. Everything was pretty good, though. I, I'm I kind of call bullshit on Annalise not getting her man back, but I guess. Whatever. Listen. That's a bit crazy, but I guess. He getting some younger thing now. But he just that quickly going to hop into somebody else's bed? First of all, well, I guess she has a lot going on. So I'm like, why did he... He tired of getting hurt, again. She got a low, a low jack on his car, on his cell phone, nothing. Do you hear this? <laughs> and everyone thinks I'm the crazy one. I mean, I got my own crazy. But, okay. Anyway. But this episode was really great. I can't tell y'all how much I love this episode. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And love, 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 love
y'all tell us what y'all think what was dope all of that clutch clutch your pearls chain all of that y'all let us know let us know let us know and just so y'all know some of these videos were already done before you know so they were done you know when the episode came on i just didn't upload it anywho i'm jazz i'm brett and we'll see you